Hey, welcome once again to this uh, continuation of Mpesa API. So we are in the reversal here. The reversal, this is where you can uh, reverse the money that has been sent to your B2C or C2B or your B2C to any transaction. You can reverse it back to where it came from. So in order to do this, so you can just check it by clicking uh, reversal. When you click reversals, these are the documentation. This is what is needed. So let me just take this and test it from there. So you can see the same initiator name that we are going to use. So here we have the identifier, receiver identifier. Identifier, let's check what is this because this is new. Receiver, receiver, receiver identifier. So you can see, you can set it also the same type of organization that received the transaction. So you can just state it as, leave it as 11. So you can see, let me just take this transaction ID because me, I had already coded it. So in order to save time here, so I can just uh, add this, uh, this transaction ID for which I'm, for the one that I'm, uh, the, the transaction that I want to, um the transaction i will add the transaction id for the transaction that i want to uh to reverse so let me take this organization baby that we are going to use here then i'm going to place it here when i place it there so this is what is required so you, as you can see from here i have already set everything that is needed so remember the security credential i've already included it so let's now test it from there. I think that's everything because this B2C, the last B2Cs, they don't have enough. They, they don't have much to say, but they will almost look the same. So I'll just come here and uh, take that and paste it like that. Then we reload and see what it will show us. So you can see we have gotten it successful and from the documentation it states that it states that when you get that it means that the transaction is successful and that's how you uh that's how you can um, you can get you can do any reversal api using the mpesa api transaction so see you in the next video